Welcome back to The Muse and Greg. This video is probably not going to be of much interest to my regular viewers, so guys, feel free to move on. But if you're in the tiny minority of people who are in this exact situation, this might be just the thing you need. Now, we've broken the rear leaf springs on four separate occasions on our 2010 dual axle Jayco Expander Outback Caravan after travelling through 70,000 kilometres of Australia. And after the third time, I decided to record how to change the spring over in case anybody else has the same issue. It's actually a pretty easy job when you know how, and it only took me about an hour to do it this time. The footage was shot on a head-mounted GoPro, so the camera angle's not always spot on, but hopefully it'll be good enough so you can see what's going on. Enjoy! Right, well, we're supposed to be getting home today, and we discovered that we've got a broken leaf spring. 200 kilometres or 500 kilometres or something like that from home, this back leaf spring's broken. So we've done this twice already, this will be the third spring we've changed in about 15 months on the road. So Matt's over there getting the new ones out. We've got a couple of spares. So since I've done this so many times, I thought I might show you how to change a caravan leaf spring on one of these uh, rocker only springs. It's probably a similar idea for other types of springs as well. Alright, okay, so just gonna take the get the wheel off the ground because if you just jack from the center pivot point, because the wheel, the back of the wheel's not connected anymore. Let's get another view of the broken spring just up there. Because the wheel's not connected at the front anymore, it all just hang down, so we just gotta Get that off the ground. Got the bottle jack sitting here under the front part of this rocker connector. Okay, so we have to use that to take the weight of the van. The jack under there is going to be taking the weight of the axle. I'll show you why we're going to need that. So, to start with, I'm just going to try to get a little bit of weight off that axle. Yeah. Get that off the ground. Very beautiful. Okay, that's all we need to do. We've got the wheel off the ground now. So I've already loosened these wheel bolts. So I'm just gonna whip them off with this. Wheel nuts I should say, not wheel bolts. Alright, that's that done. Wheel comes off. Get that out of the way. By the way, this is Hawker in the South Australian Low Flinders Ranges. Lovely spot. Not a bad spot to work on your van. If you had to pick somewhere, it's just a bit cold today, that's all. Alright, so you can see the damage a bit more easily now. See the back part of it. And this is exactly where the other ones are broken too. So, thanks Matt. Just pop that down there. Alright, so the next thing we need to do is lift this up enough if you check up enough to be able to take the tension off these hangers. So basically to change it, all we're gonna do is to get rid of this bolt here. So un undo that bolt there. We might have to cut this weld or put in here. I'll explain why that in a minute. Four bolts here, two nuts here, and the four nuts on the two U-bolts holding the fish plate on. And with those two nuts, these four nuts, and that one off, seven nuts, you can pull the whole spring off. So it's not actually a particularly difficult job. First thing we do though, is just loosen these nuts at the back because we've got to take the tension off this spring. So from memory, that's a 24 millimeter. Um, I think the back one's a 21, or was it a 27? A little while since we've done it. Yeah, that's a 24. So these shouldn't be, these nuts shouldn't be. Let's see. Sorry, they shouldn't be tight. They're not nuts, so they don't really have to be done up too, you don't you want to do them up too tight, because then it makes these little plates here rub against the springs. So undo that. Um, at the moment, the uh, weight of this axle is resting on the jack, so what we want to do, at the moment, see all that weight is it's still quite tight in there, so we're going to raise this jack until, now we've loosened these nuts, theoretically, if, if this little plate at the back, so you can see this part of the spring here, this rocker, um, the other side, this another one, once we jack this up enough so that this spring relaxes, this will all go loose and we'll be able to remove that a lot more easily. And you'll see when that happens. There we go. You see it move? That's all loose. That's what you're looking for. When it's like that, you know the whole thing is no longer under tension and it's really easy to remove. So, um, take the rest of those. Well, I might even just save a little bit of time and use my drill on this one. I have got a rattle gun, but I don't normally use this, but just 
saves it a time. But one out. So much quicker. That's interesting. Okay, that's come loose. So mm, these have got a spline that goes through this little bracket here, and they're normally welded on. He said these bolts are welded onto this plate, but they do come loose as it has now. That's all right. Nothing that a spanner won't fix. It looks like it's about a 19. I'll grab a 17 as well just to be on the safe side. It's a 19. Okay. Let's pop the him on. Let's hold that in position. Alright. So, uh, keep those together. Alright. Two nylocks. That comes out. As you see, not a complicated job. So that's the front part out already. And I always, just to be on the safe side, just spin those back on when I'm taking things apart so it's obvious where they came from. All right, that's the first part of the job. Now, now the next part is the trickier part, which is the um, ear bolts. They tend to be really, really tight, unfortunately. And last time we had to take these off, they, as you can see, they actually got quite damaged. You might be able to see the damage on the side of that nut. So, oh, this one's actually quite tight compared to the other one. Oh, that one is that a rudder gun? Yeah. Okay, well that's certainly a lot easier than last time. I don't know whether so, I'll be able to take it, take it less get that in there. An hour? Oh, maybe. I don't know. Now it looks like we've got the, the body in the way for that one, so we can't yeah. get it with that. But... Alright, so most of the way through taking this off now, I've just been undoing this and then I realised you've done it. You necessarily need to take the, all, all the U-belts off. So I've got these first two out. That's the U-belt on this side. Probably wouldn't hurt to carry some spares of those. I've got most of these bolts out here, but as you can see, once you've got that out of the way enough to swing it out the way, you can actually just pull the whole spring pack out of the way. And it's obviously easier if that's gone, but it's not essential. And that's the first part of the job done. So make sure you hang onto those washers. They go with those parts of those U bolts. Right. So the last thing we need to do is just uh, get this other bolt off down around the back here, which should be 21, which should be this one here. That one there, 21, yep. Oh, okay, maybe it's a 24 then. Yep, there we go, it's 24. Now originally, I'd welded these to stop these twisting while the strings are, are moving around. Normally when, when they're new, they've got a spline on them um, that digs into this bracket to prevent it twisting, but over time that spline wears off and then the bolts can spin freely in those hangers, which means the hangers then wear out rather than the bushes wearing out. It squeaks and makes a real rack. So I've had these welded, but as you can see, those welds are now broken. But in this situation, it's just as well because it means we can get that out. Otherwise, you just have to cut these with an angle grind. So just knock this little baby out. There we go. All right, so this is the broken one done. Now, we need to get the new one. Now, it is important to know that they're not completely symmetrical. As you can probably see from above, the join is closer to one end than the other end. So make sure you take note of which way they were. As you can see, here's the end that was broken, which did sit there like that. And you can see that the join is towards the front, which is what we've got here. So the other thing to mention is these bushes. Um, these bushes do wear out over time, and as you can see, this nylon bush has actually worn out already, and it's scraping already on the metal. This hanger only got replaced in Perth, would have been, how long ago? 230,000, so about 10,000 kilometers ago. So I actually have some spares, so I might just put one of those on while we wait. All right, so I found a bush, a spare bush that I got. It's not actually brand new, but it's good enough. So we just need to press this old one out. So we just find a socket that is the same size. This one's a 14. Let's just try a 15, maybe 15 might be one. So, and ideally, maybe to use a bit of metal just so we don't damage the socket. All we're gonna do is just press that bush out. 
Okay, so this is going to work then. It's got to be aware this is on a jack, so you've got to just keep when we're doing this, make sure this it's not sliding off the jack. How are yeah. we going? Oh, yeah, it's coming out the other end. Yep, can pop it back in. Nearly out. Yeah. There we are. This one's in better nick, so you should be able to press. Oh, it's got a little bit of lift there actually. Let's we'll follow that up. Yeah, that's better. Okay, we should be able to pop that in now. No, it's not working that to start with. There we go, that's made a start. Banging and crashing. Basically, got it in sitting flush with both sides now. We damaged the inside of it, so we've got to clean that up a little bit and make sure it's going to fit back through. That's what it needs to do. Make sure it's going to go through. Yeah, there we are. Okay, that's good. All right, so we got that part done. All right, so. Now we can start getting our new spring in. So if you've got these year bolts and the fish plate all out of the way, it's a little bit easier. But we can just you now these feed that through there. Now you want to make sure that that little bolt there sits in this hole here. It's really important that it sits neatly in there. Alright, so you can see now how much higher that is because the uh, <clears throat> because when we took it off the spring was broken. So we'll just bring the body of the van a bit higher up. So we can fit that in, there we are. And you can also see that the axle, we should have positioned this correctly before, the axle is actually a bit too far back, see? Uh -huh. So we're gonna have to lower that down and just drag that forward until we can fit that in. So just dropping that down. That's what's now let's see if we can just pull this across a bit. There we are. Just until that's gonna set up properly, that's better. Okay, I can raise it back up now. I might have been need of drop the jack for that. All right, so let's put that back hanger bolt in. Let's see if we can line that up with that weld. Stop that twisting. Beautiful. I'm just going to put these on loosely for now just to hold them in position. All right, next one. Nice in position. Now let's get that hanger on. Now this one's sitting slightly too low, so we'll see that this. Ideally, we want that to be able to just sit snugly through there, and it's a little, not quite lined up because we had to jack that up a little bit before. So I'm going to lower the van itself uh, slightly. Beautiful. Okay, that's looking good. So get our the plate that was on the back of that. On there. And now just these other uh, U-bolts. The U-bolts, the washers. Now, ideally you'd replace these nylock nuts, especially these ones, 
they're pretty butchered because I've had to do a bit of thread cutting when these threads have been damaged. Um, but I don't have any spares, so good, always a good idea to carry some spare U bolts, some spare nuts, and bits and pieces like this. Because fortunately, I'm in a place where I could get some if you needed to, but if you're remote, it's a lot harder to deal with that. So we're going to just try to see if we can get that thread started. just to reverse it the other, just start this back up. Thank you. Okay, so I'm really done tightening things up by hand. Just before you get it tight, just make sure that everything is positioned properly to so make sure that the, the, the U-bolts are lined up the same as the one in front. That the little um, bump there in the middle of the springs is positioned inside the hole on the fish plate. This is called a fish plate for some reason. And uh, you can do the final bit of tightening up the U-bolts. Okay, so this has gone a little bit tight now. With now we've had to pull those in, so adjust this until it goes. Maybe we're going to go back the other way just until that thing becomes loose again. There we go. You just spot it. Just there we are. It's only they're all free again, so I probably should have actually done that tied up before. Okay, because this weld has broken, we just want to. Make sure that that's lined up with where it was because the shape of that weld will probably actually still hold it in position. Okay, so let's get our 21, not 24 millimeter. That's a 24 bond. Here we are. I can probably, like I said, these, are, these don't need to be done tight. So it's those ones that are done up this nice and firmly now. And same thing this one here. Probably need a 19mm, can grab me a 19mm ring spanner please Matt? Thanks. That way, that way we can hold this part of it while we're doing the other side up. See here that the, you can probably see the spring is still able to move freely at the moment, which is what you want it to be able to do. You want the spring to be able to pivot on that bolt so the wear is through the bush. You don't want the whole thing so tight that it can't shift and the bolt ends up twisting. All right, they're all tightened up. So that's basically the job done. These bolts are back in. They're tightened up nice and firm. These U-bolts tighten up tight. This one's tightened up firm. So we're ready to hit the road again. Hope that's been helpful. If it has, please like and subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.